Where do you think we are at on this planet in the balance between love and fear? Where are we at compared to, say, where we were at when you first started writing book one? I think that we're at a, a wonderful place. Uh, I see the world moving closer and closer to its own spectacular healing. Mm -hmm. I see humanity just stepping, now by leaps and bounds, toward the paradise on Earth of which it has dreamt for many, many centuries, even for millennia. I think we're right on the cusp of that. But because we're right now on the cusp of that, I think that this is also a potentially dangerous time. Because as happens at all moments like this, when history is about to change course radically, as happened the last time uh, on this earth in, uh, during the period of the Renaissance, there will be those who believe that any, any shift or change in the fundamental ground of being of humanity uh, is unwelcome, undesirable, and so they will oppose it. And um, they will oppose it in some cases by any means, fair or unfair, mm -hmm. uh, violent or nonviolent. They will oppose it. So I, I see that we are approaching a time where there will be some level of clash mm -hmm between, I want to say, yesterday and tomorrow, uh, in all areas of human endeavor, not simply, in, um, not, not simply with regard to uh, religion or spirituality, but governance, education, commerce, and the way we do our economies, uh, human sexuality, the arts, and uh, just as happened during the Renaissance, by the way, all those things changed during the Renaissance as well. The Renaissance, of course, took 300 years to create those changes. I think that these uh, shifts will occur at this time in around 30 years, about one-tenth of the time, because of the exponential increase in the way, in the speed with which information is shared by peoples of the earth, and the increase in the way that, in, at, in the rate at which uh, new solutions and new ways of doing things are found and are employed uh, throughout the world in every field of human endeavor, um, the sciences, medicine, technology, and of course in spirituality as well. So Robin, I think in the next uh, 30 years or so we will create a brand new way to be human. And I think we're right on the verge of that.